that I should have been doing a long time ago since I started in this hobby is looking after my brushes. I, I to be honest with you, I really haven't. I had a video like a few years ago about cleaning brushes. That little soft thing is fine. It does the, the it does the job. Uh, but to really, really take care of the brushes, um, this is what I started to do. It really worked. It cleaned out the thick part of the paint that was stuck in the crevices um, of the brushes, and it really worked. Um, a while back, I had a video up about stripping paints for models. Now, I don't know why this took so long for me to come up with this, to think of this. And I really don't know why. Hey, I ha Ugh. Speak English, sponge. Speak English. And I really don't know why it took or why people haven't put this up before. Such, such a simple thing. When I'm stripping paint off a model, this is how simple it is. I don't know why I didn't think of this when I was doing this. I use nail polish remover, acetone or acetone free. It has to be acetone free or, not, or else it'll start messing with the plastic. Um, you can pretty much leave it in for like an hour maybe if you want to. But usually after about 15 minutes you can see the paint like coming up off it in the cup in the in the water so like last week it occurred to me like I'm always looking out for new brushes I had up on Twitter that this year I'm going to be investing in new brushes I need to do it really badly um, and it just occurred to me why don't I just put them brushes or the ends of the brushes in with the nail polish remover bingo there you go so I did um, I filled up a little cup the only awkward thing is it in it is getting the brushes the hole to stay in the spot without pressing down on the bristles and bending them out of shape but one or two did, did, did do that um, and they were fine after they went straight back into shape now you'd want to leave these in with the nail polish remover a little bit longer than you would um, your models um, because it's all is thick painted the only thing that I, the only bad thing that I did is I started to remove the colour from the handle of the brush which is it doesn't bother me and um, if you really wanted to be more careful you could do each brush separately and keep uh, swishing it around in it um, but it completely removed any paint from the brushes um, and I really think brush care is one of the most important things in the hobby definitely is for me now because like, especially this year, so start of the year I want to start off doing decent paint jobs on everything um, and I noticed when I was trying to do some fine details, some fine highlighting, the fucking brush I had was like super chunky and messy and out of shape. Um, but they're all clean now. All these brushes here now. Instead of investing in a brand new set, which I am going to be doing anyway. Um, most of these are back to life now. The shapes are still a little bit funny on some of them. Um, but I tried painting with a few of them and they were ten times better. Not perfect. But they're 10 times better. So it's just a little tip for you guys. If your brush is getting a little. Especially like, like let me see. This dry brush. This thing was rock solid. Now it's. Not as much rock solid. But the tips of it are much better. Conditioned than what it was. It's usable again. And. You know they're not back to their pristine condition. But they're usable. They're back to being able to use them. So hopefully this tip helped you guys. Uh, it's such a simple thing. I feel so like a dummy for not thinking of this earlier. And I, I am a dummy for not taking care of my brushes. That's, I'll admit that. I'll admit it. I didn't take care of my brushes as much as I should have. Um, but that's all going to change now. Definitely. Um, and when I invest in new brushes, I will let you guys know. In my local art shop, I've, I've been keeping an eye on a certain brand and a certain case that's pretty expensive but i ain't gonna invest in it anyway <laughs> um but yeah thanks for watching hopefully this helped if you guys have any other tips on cleaning your brushes any other brush cleaner in particular instead of using a nail polish remover that might work better or just as good make sure to let me know in the comment section below like this video and subscribe if you haven't and once again thank you clan rats and good runners i'll see you guys next videos